welcome to my channel plant-based storm today's video is about what i eat in a week for maximum weight loss and meal prep if you're new here i'm stormy and welcome this is a place where i like to talk about how i've lost 80 pounds eating a whole food plant-based diet that's high carb and i love to share tips and tricks and recipes about that lifestyle if you want more information, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get notified about fresh content. Every Tuesday and Friday, I upload content as consistently as possible. And you can also follow me at Plant Based Storm on Instagram. So enough about that and let's get straight to the video. I'm going to prepare is breakfast and this is apple casserole and it is an adapted recipe from Dr. McDougall's Maximum Weight Loss and it may sound a little bit strange at first because it is made with brown rice um, which we're not used to eating that for breakfast a lot of times in the morning but that is just a societal concept and you can eat whatever food you want to for breakfast. It is delicious, sweet, and warming. It's got cinnamon and maple syrup in it. So what you do is take two cups of cooked brown rice and put it into a casserole dish and then a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of syrup, and a squeeze of the juice of a lemon and then two peeled and diced apples. And then add cinnamon. I used pumpkin pie spice because I just really love it. The Trader Joe's pumpkin pie spice. It is so, so good. So let's check it out. So that breakfast is delicious and amazing. And then for my other breakfast, I'm just going to do a simple oatmeal with fresh blueberries and a banana cut up. And I will alternate that and eat that for the week between the rice and the oatmeal. And then I will pair that with some kind of vegetable in the morning. Um, you do not have to do that if you don't want to. Um, it's got the fruit in it already, so it cuts down on the calorie density. Um, but I just like to try to eat my 50-50 plate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you're not sure what a 50-50 plate is, it's where you literally take half of your plate visually and you look at one half and you have non-starchy vegetables on one side and you have your starches on the other side. This dilutes the calories and allows you to lose weight without counting anything. <laughs> Okay, for lunch, I decided to keep it super simple again, and I was so excited about this idea that I came up with um, because I work during the week, so I need something that's quick and easy to prepare in the mornings, and I decided to make a garden roll kit. I don't know if you remember like those kits we used to have when we were kids, you know, it was so fun. I think it was like Lunchables or something where you had the different items and you could pull from it. Well, that's kind of like what this concept is about, but it's an adult grown up version and obviously it's whole food plant based anyway so yeah it's just cut up the type of veggies that you like in your spring roll go ahead and prepare your noodles and put them in a container uh, separate from the vegetables and then whenever you get ready to make your lunch you already have everything cut up and ready to go and this worked out fabulously and I'm also going to show you the delicious peanut sauce that is like virtually fat free and so good. It tasted like what we get at the Thai restaurant and I was really, really happy with the way that it turned out. <music> Thank you. 
dip, we're just adding in a little bit of Ginger People's chili sauce. Now this is a sweet chili sauce, it's not hot. And I'll put uh, the links below to all of the different products that I use if you're wanting to use that specifically. And then I like to put in the PB2, a little bit of the garlic coconut aminos. And it is so yummy and so delicious. I dipped all of my spring rolls in this and just enjoyed every single bite. Okay, for lunch option number two, I just kept it simple again, and it was Mexican potato salad, and this ended up being so delicious. You just boil your potatoes and put it into the bowl, and then add in all of the different things that you would add to a taco, so like red onions and pinto beans, and the sky's really the limit. I put a little bit of fresh lime in there. It was light, delicious, but so filling, because potatoes are always so filling, and then I would just eat that with a another a non-starchy vegetable and I had a delicious maximum weight loss lunch that I looked forward to every single day and it was so simple to put together and easy to throw in my lunch kit for work so let's check it out So for dinners, I also kept it really simple and I just picked three that we are going to rotate throughout the week. And the first one up is taco. I had already cooked some pinto beans in the Instant Pot. Um, it's very affordable to do this and it's so easy. I usually do like three cups of beans and six cups of water cooking on high for 20 minutes and then let it depressure naturally and they come out really delicious. Um, and you can season them up however you want, put onions in them, put whatever seasonings you want in them, um, make it your own, and it is something easy and quick to have. Let's take a look at the tacos. For dinner option number two, uh, we decided to do Texas hash, and I already have a video about how to make Texas hash, and I'll add a link to this video so that you can see how we did that. Basically a skillet chili, and something that we have been eating for years, even before we went whole food plant-based, and it's one of our most beloved recipes, so like I said, I'll link that um, up here and in the description box below every single link to all of the information in this video is going to be in the description box below so just hit the down bar and you can see the recipes and all of the links I 
not least is dinner option number three and it is my clean out the refrigerator soup and I love this option because not only is it delicious but it serves more than one purpose so what I like to do with this soup is put in a bunch of non starchy vegetables that really need to be used up in my refrigerator so that's why it's clean out the fridge soup you just put in everything that needs to be used up right into the instant pot fill it up with broth and water and season it up however you like and make a delicious soup. Now you can leave out things like potatoes or you can put a little potato in there, but if you wanna eat it for a meal, you can serve it over potatoes or serve it over rice or any other grain of your choice. Barley is a really, really good one too. And then you have a delicious, quick, easy 50-50 uh, meal or you can use it to preload your meals, which that means to eat the soup before you even have your 50-50 plate because you're just eating a big bowl of non-starchy vegetables and that is um, filling your stomach up and diluting your calories even more. Or you can actually, I guess it's got three uses. You can use it as your 50-50 portion of the non-starchy vegetables on your plate. So it's something really good to have on hand every week. A soup is delicious, and right now it's so cold outside that it's just soup weather. So it sounded really good, and I, like I said, I will add a link to that from my other video. Let's check it out. So y'all, this was a super simple what I eat in a week plus the meal prep. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because it helps others that like this content find me and then it lets me know to keep making more videos like this. And I can't wait to see y'all down in the comments below. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Plant Based Storm. And as always, thanks so much for watching. <music>